This week, we head to Las Vegas for the SEMA show to check out Overland vehicles and accessories for our next camper. My new book, Tales from the Open Road, The Adventures and Misadventures of RV Living is now available for sale on Amazon. Read all about the ups and downs of our first year and a half living on the road full time. We're at the SEMA show in Las Vegas and since we're still searching for our next camper, we're here to check out all the cool accessories we could possibly put on like bumpers, wheels, tires, all those sorts of things. And SEMA is the place to see all of that under one roof. Well, actually multiple roofs because this place is huge. So we're gonna go through the show and see what it has to offer. Someone put a Cummins diesel in that International Scout. What do you think about the Overland experience? Pretty cool. I like the idea of those pop-up like rooftop tents. I don't think I could ever use one, but they're cool. On-air personality, apparently. Oh man, <laughs> how did that happen? I don't know. I love what they did with this thing. See, this is what I'm talking about, and the reason we're here is they got a truck camper on the back, but they really kitted out the truck itself. Sorry for the tire smoke in the background. Do you think I can get up there with the one arm? Probably not. That thing is huge. Have to have another surgery. Katie's shaking her head no at me because she knows ideas are running through my mind since we're looking at new wheels and tires, for whatever camper we end up with. She's just sitting there going no behind the camera. That's not it. So we're walking through, we saw the Earth Cruiser. This has to be one of our favorite overall rigs that we've seen out in the wild. And we've met Lance from Earth Cruiser. This is the new model, and one feature that they have in the new model that is an option is a shower that you can use for up to 10 hours straight. How does that work? It actually recycles the water through a filtration system. And yes, even for those of you who might Tickle a little bit when you're taking a shower. This will filter it out. You get clean water coming out the tap and this system is actually separated from your fresh water system so you're not contaminating or there's no worry of contamination. The filters will last about two years so you can take them out and then let them dry out. Once they dry out you can use them as firewood. So there you go. This is an awesome feature and one of the reasons we're here at SEMA to see stuff like this and get ideas for our next rig. Every rig should have it, I feel like. Yes, I think this is a game changer. I think lithium was a big game changer. Having a shower that you can use indefinitely is a game changer because water, battery, power, those are the big concerns when you're boondocking, you're out in the wild, and this solves that problem. So another thing we're considering is a vehicle wrap. No, not these colors, but maybe something with our logo. We wrap whatever vehicle we're in and really make it our own rather than something generic. And to get window film. Yes, wind security window film. There is a big difference in heat between those two windows. This would make a huge difference in a truck or camper van when you're out boondocking and you want to keep things cool without having to put up window shades over all the windows. That was impressive. Steel bumper. That thing has been hit about, this is number 16, I think. And no dents, a little scratch. Yeah, that's about it. I want to see how heavy this hammer actually is. Look at that. impressive. 
He said that was uh, about 190 pound bumper. It's delivering about six thousand, a little over 6,000 pounds of force, and the bumper's absorbing approximately 31 Gs gravitational force on every hit. You know, and they're not designed to have repeated precision hits on them, yeah. so for the fact that it's had uh, about 19 now in the last two days. I like the bolsters on this seat. It's really comfy. This is the one. It's your color. No. Oh, maybe I should do that. Too many aftermarket parts. I know. I just walk around here and I'm like, shut up, take my money. You can build your own camper from the ground up. Just yes. source all the components separately. Well, you could literally spend more money on the accessories for your camper than the camper itself. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, let's keep going. This old Jeep is cool, let's go check it out. This would be awesome for a camper build out. Put a camper on the back or something like this with the tent. Four seats, ton of room. I like that storage solution. Yeah, that's really cool. This is a cool truck. crazy trucks here at SEMA and we've seen some amazing accessories and I definitely think when we get our next camper our wallets are going to be a lot lighter because of what we've seen here but that's pretty much it for this video I did find myself a cup of coffee inside so I'm going to say goodbye and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more cool content head on over to our website at worthyrussos.com make sure to sign up for the newsletter. We'll see you next time. Bye.